the importance of uh, uh, the user mobile or user equipment uh, is there it's very obvious but then again the user equipment interacts with the next generation network through the customer premises equipment uh, we know it is uh, user equipment itself it can be the customer premises equipment it could be e node b uh, it could be uh, home e node b uh, so whatever the customer premises equipment is it has a direct impact on the overall user experience uh, now if the user equipment or the uh, customer premises equipment itself moves uh, between different service providers or the next generation network operators so to ensure that the quality of service is not compromised and it stays uh, consistent across these networks uh, the resource and admission control function communication is going to be very important between uh, the engine operators so we would look at some interesting uh, customer premises equipment mobility uh, situations and then we'll consider the scenarios which can be uh, configured to make sure that different kinds of uh, cpe mobilities are handled smoothly so uh, let's start uh, the customer premises equipment mobility actually means that uh, the flow of media between the calling party and the called party or the uh, end points uh, has certain qs provision requirements and if it has to uh, this media flow has to be uh, sent over multiple transport networks then inter -op operator uh, rscf communication becomes a requirement so we have two users each with its own uh, cpe uh, would now require uh, uh, communication be uh, between different operators through uh, their respective rscfs so three possible scenarios can be considered the first scenario is that uh, there is only one cpe in in a visited network it means that the primary concern is now going to be uh, the uh, resource availability in the visited network and uh, the unavailability of the moving cpe in the home network so both a uh, discovery and a resource allocation have to be made sure so both the cpes the one which is moving and the one which is in the home network are going to communicate with the service control function uh, in the uh, home operator network uh, so it means uh, this scf service control function invocation is going to be done at the application layer uh, layer 7 the service control function would now send the qs information the qs requirements or the qs profile to the home rscf to reserve the resources in the home network uh, it is needed because the end to end connection means the home network has to provide resources now the home rscf communicates with the visited rscf let's look at it diagrammatically here we can see that we have uh, the home network and we have the visited network the home network is uh, offering its services to two cpes cpe1 and cpe2 now both the cpes are belonging to the home network that is the first operator operator a now if the cpe2 belonging to operator a moves to another network that is uh, operator b in that case uh, all their coordination is going to happen through the incorporation or intermediation of the service control function the service control function would then contact the rscf of the home uh, network which in turn would not only allocate resources itself it would also contact the rscf of the visited network so in this case we see that with movement of one cpe from a network the rscfs are required to talk to each other through the intermediation of the service control function the second scenario is when the two cpes are located in the same uh, visited operator it actually means that both of these are mobile they have left their uh, parent or home network 
uh, it's not much different from the first one the only thing different is going to be uh, the resources are now required to be reserved in the uh, foreign or the visited network only so correspondingly the qs information is sent from the service control function uh, to the uh, to the uh, home rcf that is not going to reallocate the resources as such locally but it forwards the request to the visited rcf and the resources shall now be allocated to the uh, two cpes in the visited uh, network so you see here we have uh, the home network for uh, both these uh, cpes these cpes both move to the same foreign network that is uh, operator b now the service control function is going to be involved again in this case the scf would initiate the resource allocation required for qs provisioning to the operator a the home network which in turn is going to tell the visited network that is operator b to allocate the resources to both the cpes because these cpes are going to talk to each other and then this the third scenario where the two cpes are visiting two different networks their initial uh, home network is the same now that they are in two different networks so the home rscf has to be involved to talk to two different visited rscfs so uh, both the cpes are now going to request this resource allocation through the service control function in the home network the scf would now communicate with the home rscf uh which in turn will communicate directly with the rscfs for the visited networks for resource allocation here you can see it's a very interesting scenario we have uh, one home network that is uh, operator a for both these cpes somehow they move to two different networks they still want to have their connection they still want to have the media flow with certain qs requirements now that they are in two different uh, networks that is operator b and operator c the service control function would now initiate or request the rscf of uh, operator a to interact with rscf of b and rscf of c to provide resources to respective uh, cpes which are there in their networks 